Jennifer Sparks. I'm on my way to Bradley Airport. I'm gonna be taking a trip to Florida, to Orlando, to go visit my daughter. Bradley is my airport of choice compared to the craziness of the New York airports. <laughs> and uh, it's a bigger airport than uh, Westchester. So it's big enough where there's things to do while you're waiting and a lot of seating, but not too big where you're lost and you have to walk millions and millions of miles. Even getting dropped off and picked up is pretty much not a problem at all. It's pretty easy. For those of you new to my channel, I mostly do restaurants, state parks, fairs, fun stuff in Connecticut. This isn't really fun, but it's a very important staple thing about Connecticut. So I figured, hey, I'm going here anyway. I'm early. I might as well make a video and share it with you. I have been traveling constantly since the pandemic, and I've seen the airports go from when there was like nobody there. I was on some planes where there was only five people to like this past summer where they were packed, overpacked. It was crazy. Everybody was traveling again. I feel like with the new spread of the pandemic and kids starting school again that the airports are again getting less crowded. There was like absolutely no wait at check-in security area. Uh, I have TSA, pre-TSA check-in, so it's usually a pretty much a breeze. Uh, I think that was $80 to get. You go down in New Haven, Connecticut, at least that's where I went. And you know, the benefits are the lines are less. You don't have to take your computers out of the bag. You don't have to take your shoes off. Uh, in this case, it really wasn't a big deal, but like sometimes Orlando Airport could be seriously, I've seen it to be like an hour wait, and that is really scary when you're late for your plane to have to wait in that long line. So the pre-TSA check-in is a pretty neat thing. After getting through check-in, you could take a left or a right. We are taking a left right now. We are going to be passing the Black Bear Saloon. This way over here for flights I take are usually Frontier and Spirit. There's the Black Bear right there. You can go get a, you know, a drink and a snack before your plane if you want. You can also go to this little thing here and get a snack. You've got D'Angelo's, it's a sandwich shop. Um, you could take the stuff on the plane, but I wouldn't right now because, the, you know, at least when you're at the airport, you could eat without having to sit right next to somebody. Everybody's uneasy right now, so if you take your mask off and you're sitting right next to somebody to eat, it's kind of, you know, inconsiderate. So <laughs> I'd say eat at the airport because you can sit far away from everybody while you're waiting at the airport. Uh, as you're waiting for the airport too, you could charge your phones if you are taking Frontier or Spirit. I highly recommend doing that because there are, is no charging on the phones. JetBlue, most of their planes do. Hey, look, you could even get your glasses washed. I mean, <laughs> it's a little cool airport. I really like this one. And each wing of the place has its own gift shop too. You could go here and get like a book or some candy. You know, as you can see, they have clothes items or, you know, little neck thing, brace things you could wear on the plane, you know, if you want to sleep. Some people like that. I don't know. I tried it once. It wasn't really comfortable for me. The Duncan was closed. I'm not sure why. There was, you know, plenty of people there. It just wasn't as crowded as it's been. And they got little artifacts of New England. It's, it's, it's a cool place. I kind of like it. As you can see, too, you could go walk around and not even have to deal with being around a lot of people. At least now. Hey, when I went to Orlando Airport, that was another story. And if you want to see my full flight, this is just at the airport, but if you want to see my full flight and Orlando Airport and me also getting a car from Hertz Rental Car, check out my other video on my other page, my big page is called Traveling with Jennifer Sparks Savoy. That's where I do all my resort reviews. This is just a little Connecticut page that I do for fun while I'm in Connecticut. <laughs> Now I'm walking down to the other wing. So when you go to check in, I went down to the left. Now we're gonna be going down to the right. Same thing, you're gonna have a gift shop. You have a two roads tap room. This is where you're gonna find Southwest, JetBlue, Airlines. I could look at this candy store. I mean, my kids would have went insane over that. They had that 20 years ago. <laughs> and they had the Dunkin' Donuts open over over here. Um, they have Philips Seafood. I mean, they have a lot of good stuff that, you know, if you are early for your plane, you have a place to go hang out. Okay, now I'm going back to my gate, waiting for my Orlando flight. So I basically just go and I try to find a spot where I don't have to be close to anybody because, you know, it's the whole pandemic thing. And I, like I said, I've been traveling, but I also traveled the month after 9-11. This is how I am. This is how I roll. Um, there's nothing that scares me more than being afraid. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please subscribe to my channel.
If you want to see more in-depth videos, check out my other channel, Traveling with Jennifer Sparks Savoy. Thank you so much for your time for watching. Safe travels to you and have a wonderful afternoon in Connecticut.